I have ammo here. Now, as you might have already known, we got a unique shotgun with insane damage. Well, this is how the damage number should be for the shotguns. And today I'm going to test it on Earl with buffs close to min max to show its 99% potential. This is Cold Shoulder, a 3 stars double barrel shotgun with quad effect as the first star, which is perfect for double barrel shotguns. Second star, we got plus 50% damage to cryptids, and the third star adds cryo damage. This is what makes it so good. In short, critical hits formula is more affected by the weapon base damage, so that cryo damage is a huge increase to the base damage. And of course, obviously, I use calibrated receiver to increase the critical damage multiplier. Now, these are my perk loadout. I have most of the damage perks there and I have some defensive perks as well. Feel free to pause the video if you want to watch it closely. And this is my legendary perks, 4 legendary special cards, taking one for the team and follow through. Normally you don't want follow through for the upper barrel shotgun, so feel free to replace it by something else. And there are all the buffs I take for this attempt. I drunk some serums to negate the negative effects of some mutations. And there are the food buffs. Blight Soup is the key food here. It's one of the best source of critical multiplier. And here are my mutations. Typically, it's very similar to any other fat scratch build. Which of course, Eagle Eyes for more critical damage. And here before to improve our Blight Soup effect. And here is my armor set. I have overeaters on the chest. Left arm, right arm left leg and right leg i have unyielding because this is a gambling simulator let's begin so now i will change my armors to life saving armors and i will down myself with plasma grenades remember plural grenades because usually i need more than one grenade Okay, let's take out Serendipity and Fireproof. Looking for the good spot. Okay, that's what I said. Need more than one. Okay, finally. Okay, this one is to activate Revenant. Which is like 50% more additive damage. Let's add back fireproof and setting the pity. And do go fast here. So this one, I will use my blood fly syringer to shoot all the Wendy goes. And when they die, they will spawn blood flies. So when I kill all of them. I will get 5 stacks of adrenaline or 6 I forgot this way go right here is pretty glitchy it should have follow me at least I got the blood splice ok liquid crates, ballistic box Overdrive and let's check our damage. Well, that's crazy insane number. I take some oops, I take some canned coffee and get ready. Oh, well, that's a crazy number 220 critical damage. So it's like 1600, 1700s. That's that's pretty good, I'd say. Okay, so far so good. I'm drinking more canned coffee. Now I think this is going to be pretty hard because the uh, Wendigos are all spawning over me, and the quad barrel shotgun 
the bad thing is we have to be close to the enemy, to the boss. But they're all when he goes around and we cannot sneak. I think this is where the downfall compared to combat shotgun. Well, it's pretty good. I think I'm gonna kill him around like 1 minute something seconds. It won't be as fast the combat shotgun with pure sneak. But in normal case, if you have your team tanking for you, I think it has the best DPS all of all the shotguns. Okay, Earl is almost down. Boom. 1 minute 26 seconds. It's slightly faster than Auto X. Which is it's still really good. If you look at the damage number, here I will try to headshot the when he goes, and that's 300 damage. So it's like 2400 damage. It's insane. It's like ghost rifle, but shoots really fast. The downfall is of course being shotgun. You have to be really close to the enemies for maximum damage. We need more weapon like this. Maybe they can add more armor sets or more unique weapon that have to be grind for and they have to be worth it to grind for unlike the current uh, thorn armors. They nerfed it too hard. Okay, that's it for today. Let me know what you think about this weapon in the comments below or if you have any questions feel free to ask. Thanks for watching and have a good day.